there you have it. First New York bass of the year. Drove up a few days early before Champlain starts and just kind of fishing around. But uh, got here about two or three hours ago actually and have not caught a fish. So that was a green one. Wouldn't plan on me weighing in too many green ones in these next two tournaments, but we'll see. If they're a lot bigger than that one, three times that size, I'll be more than happy to weigh them in. But fun to catch my first New York bass anyways. I just came up and sucked. See how these suckers are built? Little squares up here, up north. They get built right. Huh? You like that, Al? Yeah. Nine eel wise in a row, and I was careful like that. Typical pro unhooking his fish before he brings it to the camera. They're still, they're built right. A home them fish ain't that ain't that thick. Not usually. Rare. Typical pro. So far we've got a perch and then a bluegill. Everybody in the comments, make sure to tell Kyle to stop throwing at the little dots. It's like, Throw at bigger dots. These are millions. There's like a hundred thousand feet right here. There's a big giant school of bluegill. It's one of the biggest schools of fish I've ever seen. I mean, there's just thousands, thousands and thousands under. Like, I'll come get some of that. That sucker just cruised up behind it. <laughs> oh my. And I just kept on. Oh my gosh. You thought it was small? I didn't see him. Oh my goodness. He's short and fat. That's how they are up here. Mm. Oh man, he's gonna be a four something. <clears throat> you think you're about to do this all the way down the whole bank? Four eighteen. That's a good one.
That's the balance. Three and a quarter, probably three and a half. First one. A little large now. There's about 80 more right here. Small, a little smally. That gum greenings out here in 20. Actually in 28. <laughs> I've caught largemouth in 33. I think that's the deepest I've caught large a largemouth, 33. Could be wrong, but I believe. Caught spots and smallmouth a lot deeper. I think you should be Not a smallmouth. <laughs> lake is full of fish, they just little. I feel like I'm at home on a small little local lake catching 13 as well. doing here? <laughs> Hunter's like, I thought you was going to catch some small mouth. I ain't with it. You ain't with it? Mm -mm. You don't like three pound large mouth? No. Why not? That's not what we came for. No, but if that's the best you can do, it's the best you can do. I mean, I'm only in 33, so that's where large mouth live, you know. Whoa. Whoa. You got a broke jaw. That's sad. Let me see. Alright, we're out here on a small little lake in a big old state. We got high winds. High winds and high quantities of bass. High boat waves. High parasellers. Everything's high. Even got a high spot we're about to fish. Not here. This lake ain't got many fours, don't look like, but it's got a bunch of pound and a half, pound and a quarter ones. Lunch break. You look like a cool dude. Do I? I am. I just drive all over the country, catch pound and a half, pound and a quarter, largemouth. 20 or 30 of them a day. Take a break. Eat some beef jerky. Retie some leaders. And then catch 25 or 30 more. Pound and a half, pound, pound and a quarter large amount. I say pound and a half, but they're not even pound and a half. Some of them, some of them ain't even pound. They babies. 
I don't think I've ever fished a lake before though that has more fish in it than this one. This, this lake's pretty big for a small little local lake though. Where are we at? Small little local lake. But it is a, God, dog, there's a lot of fish in it. I mean, a bunch. And a lot of boats. A lot of pleasure boaters We've out seen here. one bass boat. So that's a cute. Kyle, tell, tell them what they did. Tell them what my <laughs> boat did earlier. That so was so funny. We were catching them like every drop for a second. Large mouth, you know, caught one three pounder, but this boat's riding by us. And I literally set the hook and I'm really one in. So the boat comes out, stops, 50 yards away from us probably. <clears throat> Cuts the motor. They don't have a trolling motor. So they're literally just drifting and the wind's blowing them right at us. So they're literally just drifting right at us. And when they get about 15 yards away, I literally have to troll out. And oh. they start fishing. Oh yeah, they're, they're fishing towards us. They're like dragging stuff. Drifting right at our boat. Cause I, obviously I have a trolling motor. I'm staying still cause we're catching them. They're drifting right at me. They get about 15 yards away. So I troll over here. Let them drift by, then throw back. I was like, what are y'all doing, man? They literally, I don't care that much that they was, if they would have fished around me. They literally stopped and then drifted in a way where I had to move my boat. Or, or we would have just bumped in each other, you know? So I went around them. It was whatever, but I mean. Well, that's called poaching. It's poaching, but like, it don't matter here. I like, if anything, if that came up and said, hey, I've been trying to get my kids to catch fish all day, I'd have said, hey, I would have pulled a boat beside us and said drop right here, but instead they're going to pull up and just drift where now I have to alter my course of fishing to go around them. It's whatever. Even if they had drifted like beside us 15 yards, that would have been fine. But they literally was going to hit us if I didn't move. I don't know what they were doing, but anyways, we, we avoided a, a boat bump. All right, guys. Today, we're on a different small little local lake, and uh, we're going to catch them a lot. Got to fish here for a couple hours yesterday, maybe like three or four hours yesterday. Caught a bunch of fish. I know Kyle ain't talking about no three or four hours. How long was we here? We was out here from like nine to like five. We didn't get here no nine. Yes, we did. No. We, went, we didn't get here at 9. We had to drive a long way to get here yesterday. And we left at like 4. Anyways, this lake's slam full of fish. Like big time full of fish. I've never seen so many largemouth in a lake in my entire life. I don't believe. Seems a little overpopulated. If I had to guess, it, it definitely seems a hair overpopulated. But, that's all right. Cause that means there's a lot of fish in here and we're gonna be able to catch them but literally just idling around right here kind of trying to get out and just seeing some rocks so we're gonna actually see some bait see some scattered grass something over here not sure what that is but um see a lot of rock so we're just gonna fish right here i was planning on running a little while but we'll just try it turned around literally seen one instantly two or three instantly he bit at it Maybe that's not a bass. Loaded. Oh. So the bait ball that I was idling across, they were just in, kind of in the middle of it. Couldn't see them super well, but I could just see a little bit of hot spot where the fish were. Take that one. Here's gonna splash the new camera. That's a better one. Yeah, it's a good one. Close to three pounds, probably. 
Maybe. That's the biggest New York smallmouth you've caught this year. Fat something ain't it, Hunter. That's a fat something. What you got? I need to zoom in. Huh? Another rock bass. I've caught three in a row now. Skinny smallmouth. BLT, baby. Catching it all. Ain't caught large enough yet, though. Now we got a green one. Still ain't big. So if y'all want to see kind of what I'm doing, this is just the Crush City BLT. That's a one alt Gamakatsu, light wire worm hook. This four drop shot, you know, Aaron Martins, I think, I think it was Aaron Martins that designed it. But um, just kind of thread it through the back like that. Long leader, three eighths ounce weight. This is eight pound Sunline Shooter. This is 10 pound Sunline AMZ Brave. Got a really long leader, probably a 12 probably yeah 11 foot leader with fg knot and that's it this is the axum comp spin reel 13 fishings revamping their spin reels big time everything with the comp drag super super legit and the comp drag is really really good and this is a seven foot three medium spin reel from 13 fishing you know but one thing that's not talked about a lot is everyone's talking about the drag on a spin reel but it's got more to do with it's got it's got the most to do with the drag obviously with what type of drags in the reel but we have a czb bearing right here in the roller and then also fuji kr concept guides makes it a really smooth transition whenever you're actually pulling the guide train adds resistance to every single rod so having really good spacing and then really high quality guides is one of the biggest things that really helps with drag especially on spinning because you don't want to have any flat spots in between your guides and you don't want to have guys that create a lot of friction because we're using super super light drag a lot of times the drag you're using is two or three pounds of drag and any resistance just adds a lot to it you know so really good guys the kr concept these are you know really high quality guys on here these are the fuji kr concept and that's what you know makes the drag feel even better is the guides and the drag on the reel How did you hog tie him, Kyle? Hog tied. Do whatever I can to make him stop fighting. Long and skinny smallmouth. See, they got big mouths and they're skinny. That means there's way too many in this little lake right here. 